Where does that take us? Well, just to switch of subject, but uh, a lot of people still wearing masks and it was pointed out to us uh, a couple of days ago that on the London Underground, it's the thing to be wearing masks. This was an article back um, on the 12th of May, I think, yeah, from the Evening Standard. Government urging people in England to use face coverings in confined areas such as public transport and Transport for London had said that face masks should be worn on all London underground and bus services in the capital to curb the spread of COVID-19. The question is, though, are the masks themselves safe? Well, we got exploring. We decided to go straight to Transport for London. So we sent them an email saying that we understood that Transport for London had made the wearing of masks by passengers on underground trains compulsory. But many medical experts are warning and have been warning for some time about the dangers of masks. And this is really that you're breathing in your own stale air. So you've got limited oxygen and you're also breathing in CO2. Um, well, what was the response? We asked, sorry, we asked for the medical risk assessment. What risk assessment had been done to say that it was safe for people to wear masks, particularly when it's hot on the underground you're all in some pretty unpleasant air anyway. To be wearing a mask um, is something else. Well, the reply to date has been silence. We've sent a chase up email, but no reply as to where their medical risk assessment was. But the two things that uh, medical experts who've been advising UK column had highlighted, the dangers of uh, hypoxia, where you're restricting uh, oxygen and hy hypocapnia, uh, where you're taking in your own CO2. But the result of both these things happening is suppression of your immune system. So if you're uh, a carrier of COVID, albeit with no symptoms, you're going to be in a worse state. Or if you're elderly or you've got some sort of bronchial condition, you're going to be in a worse state. So just to uh, push this home, here's the British Medical Journal uh, carrying an article which is saying that wearing a mask makes exhaled air go into the eyes. This can make you want to touch your eyes. And if you've got contamination on your hands, you're going to be uh, reinfecting yourself. And here, face masks making breathing more difficult. For people with COPD, face masks are in fact intolerable. Moreover, a fraction of carbon dioxide previously exhaled, exhaled is inhaled at each respiratory cycle. And it goes on to say this may also worsen the clinical condition of infected people if the enhanced breathing pushes the viral load down into their lungs. This is because you're not clearing the body of the virus. It's staying inside the face mask. And another one here, and this one is a bit more blunt. It said it would be a paradox if masks and respirators worked, given what we know about viral respiratory diseases. The main transmission path is long residence time aerosol particles which are too fine to be blocked so no messing around there the masks present a, a definite risk to the wearer and they can't protect against the viruses anyway mm.